appreciate you guys for tuning in remember subscribe is the vibe my boy your boys on the road to 4k humbly humbly it's so crazy every single time i wake up and i'm like making these videos it's like i'm actually surprised at myself that i'm really doing this you know what i mean like the amount of times that i've watched other youtubers react to content and create content and i've always sat down from a distance watching other people you couldn't tell me five years ago that i'd be doing this today so anybody that watches my video even if like you don't have to necessarily i, I got a couple of partners that want to start their own reaction videos and you know what i mean it's all about getting started right so to anyone that wants to get started in any career endeavor man just get started bro ain't no such thing as perfect time son because you got to ask yourself What's the perfect time? When you get your money right? When you move out your mama house? When your kids are old enough? What determines the perfect time? Cause last time I remember, life is always gonna lie. You understand what I'm saying? There is no perfect time to get things started. Y'all keep thinking that tomorrow's promise. I mean, you must know something that I don't know about tomorrow. So to continuously drag your feet and procrastinate when life is waiting for you to be great, y'all need to go out there and get it. Y'all gotta go get it. Y'all gotta want it. It has to feel like it belongs to you. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Nobody gives a damn. So all this self-pity, all this, you know, feeling like you broke. Let me tell you something about being broke, bro. It's not about the money in your pocket, but it's your mindset. It's the way you think and operate that determines if you broke or not. You know what I mean? Because if you're waking up early and you're grinding and you're focused and you're researching and you're being consistent, you ain't broke. You're building. But if you wake up every single day and you get lost on IG or TikTok for four hours before you finally decide, you know what, let me go brush my teeth, then you, you're moving like someone that's broke. You're moving as someone that needs their priorities in order. I just want to let you guys know that there is no perfect time. If you believe in something and you really about it, get up and grind. I get it. You've been through some shit. We've all been through some shit. Now, I mean, I could, I could come up with a laundry list of things that I've been through, but guess what? I still show up because at the end of the day, you'll have a couple of people feel sorry for you. What are they really going to do to change your situation? Absolutely nothing. Now, I mean, so go get it, go attack and go be great. Now, I mean, and that's all I got for you. So we got the sh sh Shanghai. We just going to we gonna skip past. We got the King of Muay Thai original career. Um, I've been researching a lot of great fighters, and someone told me like to react to this documentary because it's fire. It's one of, he's one of the greatest fighters of all time. I've never even heard of this man. So for someone to be an all-time great, and I haven't heard of him, it just means I'm lacking. You know what I mean? So we're gonna react. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Hit the like and subscribe button for more content. It's your boy Gabos. Let's vibe out, man. A historic practitioner of Muay Thai with over 300 wins and two decades of dominance. 300 wins? Sanchai. King Star. He said 300? Oh damn, he killed that man? Shout out to my boy, Vincent. This is the greatest Muay Thai fighter of his generation. Muay Thai. Maybe one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters ever. Look at that lean back. Lightning fast lean back. And almost elastic ability to dodge attacks. You know what I mean? There's just something Bruh. about the guy's character. It just Bruh. like, his, his fighting is his, kind of outgoing. Like, this is a weird, funky guy. And it makes sense that he fights what? like that. His fighting is definitely an expression of himself. He has the reflexes of a cat. And the speed of a mongoose. Throw it! I dare oh, His sweeps Bruh. and throws are some of the most effective in the sport's history. Yo! Time out! Oh my! He even has his own signature move, like a Street Fighter character. Cartwheel kick. The cartwheel kick. This is Senchai's version of a Tiger Uppercut or Sonic Boom. Bruh. We. I think like, boom. Bruh. Perfect timing. When you, when you fight this level, even the blocks hurt. That. There's a magic to his movements. How did Sanchai figure out how to do Muay Thai different than anybody? He's basically Bruh. the Pele or Sugar Ray Robinson that, of Muay Thai. That's what you call a questioning kick. Or question that, or something, something type of kick. That's a question kick. I've seen it a couple of times by Izzy. <laughs> it's like you fake the mid and then the the foot just follows up. Look at this. Uh, bing. basically the Pele Stupid. or Sugar Ray Robinson of Muay Thai. Muay Thai or Thai boxing is a national sport Yo, in Thailand. Are these the sport of that Muay Thai has of. a documented history going back centuries. It's hugely popular. Also, among children, the best fighters are trained from childhood, and so the level of skill and competition is through the roof. Oh my like the great warriors of the past, 
Sen Chai began training as a child. They built like many soldiers old, out there. He was fighting for dollar purses in front of local crowds. Much of his early career isn't available. Lost to time. Wai Tai is a deep rooted tradition here. The Lumpini title is considered the most prestigious title in Muay Thai. Sen Chai would capture it an astounding five times across five weight divisions. He captured his first Lumpini title in 97 at age 16. Yeah, he can do it all. He can check, he can box, he can clench, he, he can do it all. He burst onto the scene in 95 and has been a fixture of the sport ever since, even today. His weaving is crazy. Like, he's a beautiful left kick from Sanchai there. He's so interesting with his quick switches of the feet and burp. Like, oh, even the way what? he throws kicks, he's just got like a little different flavor to everything he does. I don't think he can help Where is he it. building this momentum you know from? I mean? Is like, it from the hip? There's something about the guy's character. Nice kick from Sunshine. Good balance. Bruh. No Bruh. way. Now is that. I'm confused. Some white side, you can't beat him up when they're on the floor? There is a spiritual side to the art of eight limbs. Waikru is a ritual ceremony performed by Muay Thai fighters directly before engaging in battle. Enough. You need to go to these shows live to appreciate the skills. Oh, oh! You can't argue with the skills. You can't argue. Oh. He's something special. It takes a lot of energy to move around the way he does. Yeah, I'm sure he still shows up to the gym every single day. Too. I'm sure. And he's like holding pads for foreigners and all that stuff. He looks like he's like 120. The cartwheel kick. Senchai is credited for inventing it, and he tries to use it every fight. Oh, no. Nah. Nah, oh, nah, 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 <laughs> bro. Kicks should not move as fast as hands like i'll say this i'm not the toughest guy you've ever met but don't play with me don't try me i mean i'm not gonna be the first dude to punch you in your mouth but it will definitely get there but even i have my rules if i get into a street fight and the person i'm fighting is throwing out kicks brother man i appreciate you for your time but uh conflict is not an issue here whatever that problem is ladies and gentlemen it's resolved i've never caught a head kick in my life and i'm trying to keep that record unblemished you know what i'm saying <laughs> you get into a street fight and a dude is throwing these <laughs> He's so good. Meanwhile, he's in his prime. Don't let your pride get you killed now. Still f people up. Bruh. Multiple times more. <laughs> Have fight. Good luck. Oh my God. They built different. Fighter out there. of the Year in both 99 and 2008. He's mastered distance management, using teeps and counters to control the action. I would say, as you kick, is absolutely disgusting. That's a big right hand as well. Nice kick! Ooh, most stylistic Muay Thai artists ever. Compared to like watching Muay Thai in the States and then going there, the amount of kicks and knees at the door. Mm. I'm looking at fighting like, okay, like when's the next punch gonna happen? These guys throwing kick after kick after kick for five rounds. Oh! And he'd even catch him flush. Oh, nah. That boy got Robitussin in his feet. He's here to put you to sleep. After now. winning five Lumpini titles, San Chai was revered as an icon in Thailand. To be honest, Davey, 
Ooh, I'm a little nervous. Okay. <laughs> Commentating on a Sanchai fight. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Sanche, obviously, an absolute legend in the sport. Um, his fight against Pornson in Lumpini, wow. His next level skill was always on full display. Always fighting with such oh. ease and comfort. A true warrior artist. He understood the value of winning the crowd. Depending upon where he was, he'd adjust his style to please that particular crowd. Oh! Oh! Low battery. Low battery. Win the crowd, and you'll win your freedom. I will win the crowd. I will give them something they've never seen before. Is he ever going to act like he's in a professional fight? Like, he looks like he's crazy, though, bro. Everyone's been talking about, and everyone's came to see Sanchez against McCall, two of Thailand's best fighters. Sanchez already fast start with the left body kick. Wow, the balance <laughs> is just like fantastic. Against one of the best fighters in the world, Sanchai put on a master class. Jumping left kick into a left kick again <laughs> as, as he lands. That is ridiculous balance. Known as a tricky fighter. One of Sanchai's old tricks there. Oh, Bruh. front wheel kick from Sanchai this early on. <laughs> Round one, lands it flush as well. Beautiful takedown there, catching Takon's right way. He's able to catch these kicks. Hey, how you doing? The cameraman doesn't even show us the round number here. Why is she so angry? Her face so damn serious. Yeah. Sanchez, a very tricky fighter. A lot of flash, a lot of faking. It's amazing the speed at which Sanchez can move around to Takon's back. His ability to maneuver that was the a good ring body kick. was on full display. Leaping kicks, cartwheels, knees, elbows. It was an entire arsenal brought to us by the GOAT, Sancha. Oh, they like call him the GOAT out there, bro. I ain't oh, front. Beautiful side kick by Sancha. Good inside kick from Sancha there. Good block. Oh, big rear legged teeth from His trickster ways are a brilliant set of skills that keep opponents off balance. They're just amazing. Oh, yeah. back, back to the up. left of his own. Pakorn was a Lumpini champion. Senchai made him look lost. Bruh. Bruh. Big <laughs> cheat from Senchai, getting out of trouble. Yo. Yo. For these two titles. No, I'm going to get to the world's best. Rounds of Absolutely boxing. amazing display we of go skill to the score in Muay Thai. And the red corner, Sanchai, PK, Sanchai Muay Thai. The win sent Sanchai notice to the Muay Thai Jewish world. Sanchai's reign was far from over. Sanchai is an ambassador of all Muay Thai represents. A calm, controlled art that's been honed over centuries in one of the most beautiful places on earth. Thai. One thing I love about the uh, the tradition of Muay Thai uh, fighting, it's like, like there's, there's no real personal vendetta. You know what I mean? These guys are homegrown. This is built on like humility, tradition, and just doing it for the sake of your name because your name is everything. And, and these guys, they'd be the most peaceful individuals i'm talking about you could walk past them and think and mistake them for a monk but they take that robe off they take that shirt off and it's ab on top of ab bro it's like i've never seen nothing like that before but i respect the tradition i i, I respect what they're made of bro because these guys are killers don't don't mess around <laughs> they, they'll kill you but they don't move like that you know what i mean
Thailand. Sanchai has a knack for fighting opponents who are considerably larger than himself. He's developed a reputation as a giant slayer. Against foreign fighters, weight was little more than a number. Sanchai fought men who towered over him. Sanchai obviously very, very tricky. His technique. Great balance, lots of faking, and steps forward, you know, hard shots. Even in the elite die ranks, Sanchai was consistently giving up two to three pounds to his opponents. These kicks. The cartwheel kick is highly difficult to execute, and yet Sen Chai does so consistently. He seamlessly switches between distance and uh, uses incredible your hand up you things him, to lure opponents into mistakes. It's an exciting style that keeps opponents off balance. Uh, oh, the that elbow. vicious elbow. That elbow, I saw that one. I saw that one. Who is this guy? Sanchai just does so many tricks and feints and everything, doesn't he? he just... His balance is just amazing, Davey. Yes. Oh! You see his life leave his body! By the way, knockout in the first round. Done. Thailand, Sanchai! He gets Sanchai with Thailand! Done. Listen, man, I ain't never been knocked out before. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to catch a kick to the face like that. I'm, we just gonna get that out the way, you know what I mean? So, anybody trying to avoid looking like him, keep your hands up, bro. Here, Sanchai launches into his signature move. Gotta hit you with the special. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta then hit you with the special. comes right back with a head kick. Oh. Oh. Against another significantly larger man, San Chai took him apart. San Chai is killing the show here, isn't he? Yeah, San Chai is just. His skill is just unmatched. Here, he feigns a kick then slips around behind his opponent, landing the devastating body shot. Not much feeling out here. Um, oh, they're letting the shots go, are they? Oh, damn, he quick, man. That left hand. That left hand. Got titanium in it. This is the tale of most of Sanchai's fights. A one-sided drumming, a thorough domination, which usually ends in a spectacular knockout. These cannon kicks? I've never seen anything like that. Against in my Sean life. Clancy, another larger man. It was more of the same. Ugh. He bends without breaking. I think I've seen enough. With so many tricks in his bag, Sanchai is impossible to anticipate. Look at his face. Oh! An excellent oh. counter punch ends the bout in an instant. Oh, 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 o
นับสายตรงครับ
Senchai, King Star, Goat of Muay Thai. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Okay. Yo, I got a newfound respect for this man. Um, the King of Muay Thai. I still can't pronounce his name. No disrespect, but I've never seen anything like this. That's my takeaway. I've never seen anything like what this man was doing for the past 20 minutes. Two decades? Over 300 fights? Has never lost. Some of the best kicks and punches and elbow combinations I've seen in my life. This man is goaded. This man is goaded. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Because this, I like, I'm still kind of like in awe. Damn. And I've never even heard of him. Oh, lit. <laughs> Appreciate you guys for tuning in, man. I, I I really got nothing to say. Like that was impressive as hell, bro. Impressive as hell for such a short man. Who, what what a, what you give him a buck thirty? Dropping dudes off like that. I wish I might. I wish I might, man. Keep the, yo, okay, he goaded. But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hit the like and subscribe button for more content and more videos and more reactions. This is what your boy does. I'm just simply consistent. Mahalo at you guys, man. Mamba out.